Bill, is this a social call if you just pop round to shout at me again? No, I haven't. So what do you want? To say sorry. Oh. And I brought these to sort of sweeten the deal. What's that? Oh, you didn't have to do that. It's not like I need an excuse, is it? And I thought I might take you and Steve for a couple at the bistro tomorrow to sort of apologise to him and all for being a bit of a div. I won't have time tomorrow. I need to be at the parlour. We well, can't Todd stand in for you? No, uh, Todd won't be there. Why not? Visiting a mate in hospital. Mm. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His mate, yeah, he's fine. Why is he in hospital then? Well, I say fine, but, um, broke his leg. Fell down some stairs. Ooh, nasty. I better yeah, get I up before Sally starts worrying. Thanks for not shouting at me when you opened the door. Hey, look, I know what a tough time you've been having lately. Let's just forget it, eh? Yeah, cheers. Well, thanks for that. The order of service for tomorrow's funeral took ages. And then I had to... I, uh, sorry, didn't know you were here. I gathered. So what's this about a funeral? I thought you were visiting a mate in hospital tomorrow. Right, yeah, I am. What's wrong with him? He's... having a vasectomy. I don't believe this. You're going to do it, aren't you? A funeral for that psycho that murdered three people and tried to kill me. Oh, it's me job, Tim. Whatever his crimes, Stephen Reed has a right to a proper service like everyone else. Well, he's not going to get one as far as I'm concerned. I promise you that. <laughs> 